Hi everyone, welcome back to Acres of Clay. Today it's cloudy, cold, it's not really windy, but it's still muddy out there. And we are gonna be working in the calf barn again because all that rain has kind of made everything ick. And in order to keep our calves healthy and the air fresh in there, it has to be dry. So that's our plan for, at least for a little bit, we're gonna work in there and then um, We'll see uh, what else we have to do today. I'll show you the mud that we have to deal with on our muddy acres of clay. So, let's go outside. So while some of you may be enjoying really warm temperatures, 70s, 80s, and 90s, I've heard some of you say that you've had 90, we're still wearing our winter clothes and I got my glove, my mittens, my hat, and my coat. Also got my boots on because of the mud. So let me show you what kind of mud we're dealing with. I'll show you my yard actually. But yeah, um, we got pockets of water everywhere. This is supposed to be the garden. <laughs> um, it needs some help, I know, but eventually it'll be growing and green and beautiful. But no, the, the yard shouldn't look like this. Where's, where did all the grass go? But the yard needs a little bit of attention this spring. There's some more standing water. The chicken's run looks pretty good. Um, I need to take care of that stuff because they don't use it. But I should put some more straw down here. They don't spend a lot of time in the run right now, but because I leave the door open so they can wander around the whole farm, pretty much. Uh, the garden, let's go look at the garden. So these are the garden boxes that this one here, I need to take some of this dirt out of it and replace it with some better soil. That's too, too much clay in there. And these are pretty, pretty well good to go. Um, last fall, I got caught a little bit early with snow and stuff, so I didn't clean that up. That's a morning glory. Um, I got the tomatoes here. This was tomatoes last year, and that's all cleaned up. And then there's some pepper plants that I didn't get to yet. But, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about this standing water here and look it just kind of looks messy so i don't really want to show um, i've got parsnips that are starting to grow so i gotta get them dug up i like to overwinter parsnips um i just think they taste better so um they're starting to grow so now is the time i've dug some of them up and we've eaten some but i need to keep going on it maybe for supper dinner oh, oh my this is the herbs from last year. So yeah. Just a quick little look. And these are the, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see. Oh, what were these called? The noodle beans or the yard long beans? I haven't cleaned up all that yet. I need to do that. So I still have projects I could work on. And these girls are outgrowing their hutches. They're all weaned now and ready to get moved in with the rest of the herd, which we will probably be doing soon. I don't know when though. And you can see how wet it is. This water here is all moist and it's ick, but they're laying up in the dry, so. Time to get at it. Hey, what are y'all up here for? So we're all finished. Oh, hold on. girls back out a little what's going on so we're all finished with cleaning I put down a layer of lime the lime is like a dis disinfectant so I did that first and then we put the sawdust down and then the straw and now they're all happy except for that one she thinks she always has to eat and um, I'll just fed her so she just wants to move. Yeah. Alright, so happy to have them clean again. 
It always feels good when it's nice and clean in here. Yeah. <laughs> What you got? Hey, baby. So, I went in the house for just a little bit. Where's my baby? I went in the house for just a little bit, and nobody's really in there, and there's not a lot to do. And for me, I don't know about all of you guys that, you know, for me, I need to go outside and do something. I can't just sit in the house and do nothing. I just, it's boring. You know, you can only clean so much or cook so much, but you still wanna go outside. So, for all of you that are dealing with the quarantine like we are, um, what are you guys doing all day? Do you stay in the house? Do you go out for walks? Um, I know not everybody has land where they can just freely roam around. Um, like me, I wander around aimlessly at times. But um, what do you do? Do you play games? I mean, yeah, we play games, but after a while, <laughs> we're just like, okay, that's enough of that, and then move on to something else. So let me know in the comments. Hey, I see somebody peeking. Let me know in the comments below what you guys spend your days doing during this quarantine season. Um, we're still quarantined till the end of April here in Michigan. So, and who knows, could go on longer than that. But um, we're staying healthy and uh, that's the main thing, right? So here's our driveway. It's mud, yes. A lot of you comment on it, telling us how to put a driveway down. We put stuff down all the time, but when we have the heavy equipment coming in and out and it's dirty, you know, mud just gets, it just gets everywhere, you know? So the gravel gets mixed with the mud. <sighs> Let's go see what the guys are doing. Looks like Sydney's gonna feed cows. So that's a good thing. It's starting to mist, which isn't very good for the camera, but oh well, I'm still gonna be out here. Well, that's interesting. Wait, you're getting milk? Those are getting big. So big. One lonely one. This one here is so funny. Anyway. Cleaning the barn. Heifer pens need cleaning. So we're working at cleaning out the, uh, the garage. So all winter it's been you know, we just come in, track in the mud, snow, water, yuck. And today, even though it's still muddy outside, it's dry, it's not raining, and we need to get that floor high pressure washed because it's disgusting. Not, nothing else to say about that, it's just disgusting. Usually we high pressure wash the floor in there several times a year, and today is one of those times. So Mackenzie's actually doing that. I'm brushing it, trying to keep the water to go out, because our floor is actually sloped to the center where there's a drain, but I like to just to push it all outside. So that's what I've been doing, and I'll show you what, what it looks like.
we had to quit washing because the high pressure washer hose blew um, while Mackenzie was using it. It blew up towards her. <laughs> Scared her, but uh, she got a little bit wet, but I didn't get that on video. So sorry about that. That may have been funny. So we have to get a new hose before we can finish, but we got most of it done. And especially the parts over here where everybody comes in and out, that's always the worst. And then where the car sits, that's always bad too because um, the car is always dirty. <laughs> Not always, but a lot of the times it's dirty. So uh, I'm thankful for how far it got done and now we'll probably have to step to the store and get a hose and some more fuel because I think we were running low on fuel too. So there you have it.